So in my very first video on this channel, I talked about the many ways that filmmakers get screwed over by festivals, and especially distributors. I wanted to share the story of how my personal experience with distributors so far has been frustrating and disappointing. But in the first video, I kind of went out of my way to avoid naming names, since I'm still technically working with these companies who have the distribution rights to my films. But there have been some developments. So my second feature film, What Children Do, was picked up by the distribution company Screen Media, who released it across a whole bunch of platforms. I was really excited to have my film released, even though Screen Media was never super diligent about communicating with me, or sending me performance reports, or basically anything. And as I outlined in the previous video, there was a lot of tricky math that ensured that I never saw any money. So Screen Media was eventually acquired by a company called 1091 Pictures, which supposedly prided themselves on being transparent with filmmakers, and had an admittedly pretty impressive catalog of films. Again, nobody informed me about the acquisition or what the implications of it were for my film, so I actually had no idea that this happened until recently. Then, last year, 1091 Pictures was acquired by, and get ready for it, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, which, as its name suggests, owns the Chicken Soup for the Soul properties, but also Redbox and Crackle and a bunch of other stuff you've never heard of. Nobody told me about this acquisition either, and it's hard to believe, but Chicken Soup for the Soul owns the streaming rights to my film. The fun continues, though, because now it appears that Chicken Soup is potentially on the brink of declaring bankruptcy, and has apparently stopped paying out residuals to filmmakers. A few filmmakers have moved forward with legal action against Chicken Soup. It's a f***ing nightmare to have to keep saying that name. And there's a ton of uncertainty as to what happens to our films if they go out of business. This entire debacle is exactly what I was talking about in my previous video. It's another in a long line of examples of the many ways that indie filmmakers get treated like by these companies who, it seems, very often don't have our best interests in mind. So if somebody goes and watches my movie, link in the description, I have no idea where that money goes anymore. I have no contact at Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, nobody has ever reached out to me, and I doubt that I'll ever see a single penny from its release. I guess that the best case scenario is that if and when Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment goes out of business, the rights to my film will revert back to me, and I can make the movie available in a place where I'll know how many people watch it, and I can potentially, God forbid, make a tiny bit of money off of it. This entire maelstrom only further reinforces my view that you're maybe better off finding a way to release your movie on your own. Unless you're getting a proper release by a marquee distributor, it's just becoming impossible to justify working with these mid-tier level distribution companies that every day more and more look like scams. Figuring out a way to make your film available as broadly as possible while still retaining control and access to the viewing metrics should be every indie filmmaker's goal going forward. Even if you make $10,000 or $1,000, or even $100, it would be more than you'll make releasing your film with the Screen Medias, or the 1091 Pictures, or the Chicken Soup for the Souls of the World, and you'll actually have an idea of who is watching it, where they're finding it, and how much money you're owed. At the beginning of this journey, I was still a young and innocent filmmaker who was excited to have my film released by a distribution company. I was like, holy Look at all these streaming platforms that my movie's on. I haven't even heard of half of these. But that excitement soon wears off when you don't hear anything from the company, you receive hazy and infrequent metrics, and you don't get any money because the profits are offset by a beguiling array of startup costs and marketing expenses that magically materialize out of nowhere. The next time I make a movie and want to have a quote, traditional release, this is what I'm gonna do instead. First, skip sales agents and this cottage industry of mid-level indie film distribution companies that exist to gobble up the rights to hundreds of films without paying in advance and who I would imagine don't pay out residuals to 95% of them. Find a place to host your film online where you charge money. 
YouTube allows you to do this. Amazon allows you to do this. Vimeo allows you to do this. Get it on streaming services like Tubi or Mubi or whatever other rhyming streaming platform there is. Or if all you care about is exposure, then put it up for free here on YouTube or on Vimeo. The free model is honestly not a terrible idea for a lot of filmmakers. It allows you to get in front of the most amount of eyes, you can interact with your audience, and you can actually see who is watching your film. And you can create a list of people through your subscribers or through an email list so that you can reach back out to them in the future the next time you make something. If a thousand people watch your movie on iTunes, you have zero idea who those people are, and you have no way to connect with them so that you can follow up with your future projects. Also, with a thousand watches, you will almost certainly not see a dime of profit from your distributor. But say you put your movie online for free on YouTube or wherever, you can have a back and forth with the people in the comments, you can ask them to subscribe to your channel or to sign up for your email list. You will have a concrete group of people who demonstrably like your work that you can share your next however many projects with. And that list will just keep growing throughout your career. That to me seems a lot more valuable than the shiny veneer of getting released by a real distribution company and having your movie available on whatever number of platforms. Do I think that this is the silver bullet for indie filmmakers? Honestly, probably not. But we're all in an incredibly bizarre transitional period where the traditional avenues for filmmakers like us to get our work out there are crumbling before our very eyes. And to my knowledge, there hasn't been any more viable alternatives that have popped up yet. So we're kind of left to fend for ourselves. Let me know down in the comments what you think the best way for a filmmaker to get their movie out into the world is right now. I'm really curious to see what other filmmakers have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I release a new video every Tuesday, so if you want to see more videos like this about movies and filmmaking, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time.